introduce ourselves. We are Cassie and Joe, and we have two young boys called Vincent and Victor. We love to go on all sorts of family adventures together in the UK and abroad. So let's bring you along with us. Good afternoon. Wait a minute. Evening. Oh my God. Good, Good evening. evening. Right, we are on our way currently to Wales, the south of Wales to be precise. Okay. It's been a long day at work and we are finally on our way down to the bottom of Wales. Uh, we are staying in the Bluestone Resorts in the in a national park type thing. It's literally a stone's throw away from Oakwood, so it seemed ridiculous not to go and stay there, to be honest with you. Plus there's like a like a Serendome, I think it's called the Serendome. And there's also, um, it's like an undercover bar area and also zip line things and free ball drops and loads of exciting stuff. But anyway, we thought we'd bring you along with us to come and have a look at, while we're on this little adventure. It's also, it's my birthday. It's my 35th. 35th, that's really sad, isn't it? My 35th birthday, um, tomorrow, not right now, I'm not that old. So yeah, come along with us and you can have a little look um, as we explore with you because we've never been here before either, so this will be fun. Bye. So we're here, we finally made it. As you can tell, it took us forever. We had to stop for a toilet wee break. But we are here and we are just going to guest check-in right now. Oh, it's safe to go to number four. Number four. four. Where is four? I don't know. Is this a thing? I guess so. Right. So that was a nice easy check-in. Um, we've just got all our bits and bobs and there's also a Bubak festival on at the moment which is like a Welsh thing for nymphs or something like that. Apparently we, the tale is that if they left a bowl of cream out for them that all their household chores would be done. I wish we had those at home. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go through right now and go and find our lodge. Um, you've got to basically park by your lodge. It's kind of a centre parks deal where you park up by your lodge um, and then you have to go and drop your car back off after you've dropped your crap off. So yeah, we're gonna go and do that and then we'll show you around our accommodation. Obviously we won't show you around the resort tonight because it's pitch black and it's pointless. So you'll probably see it tomorrow when it's a little bit brighter. No, it's a bit late. But here is our little room tour. See who's home. Oh, Welcome. hi Joe. Is that my wine? No, it's mine. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a major disappointment. So here is the uh, Calvary, Calvary Lodge at Bluestone Resorts in Pembroke. Pembrokeshire. Pembrokeshire. Right, so we've got a kitchen here. Came with a little like accessory pack thingy with all your bits and bobs, your washing up liquid and whatnot. Um, it also, just quickly, make sure you bring a little disposable barbecue because they allow on the porch area you to have your little barbecues. So we got one of those, um, but only the disposable type. Yeah, we got a microwave, a dishwasher, irons and what is that, a mat? A mat, some sort of mat, just pan brush. Yeah, you got it. Anyway, you've got snacks that are ours cutlery and stuff for days. You've got loads of stuff, loads of stuff. So if you want to cook, you are sorted. Obviously kettle, toaster and fridge full of snacks. That's how it arrives, obviously, you know, with all the beer in there and everything. <laughs> it's actually my birthday, so we don't usually do it that bad. Um, and then we've got a cupboard full of other crap and some kiddie stuff. Look at this, right? If you're traveling with little kiddies, I know they have these. Jay, can you open this? Because I'm not good at one-handed stuff. It's equally slurp, so it's all made out of like bamboo or something. Yeah, but they've got little baby cutlery for little ones, which I thought was adorable. Yeah, Obviously, they've got the adult stuff, but that's quite cute for little clumsy kiddies. A and a cafetiere. And it um, comes with a lovely bowl of fruit. It actually doesn't, that's ours. And the avocado. Very up on the recycling and, yeah. and things as well. Just quickly. They even have food waste recycling bags, which I think is great to be put. So you can put your food waste in there and um, not feed it to the badgers outside. Oh yeah, I saw a badger outside. We did see a badger. I'll a photo of that badger. <laughs> Joe likes no. badgers. There it is. <laughs> Boys, what do you think of the um, the Caldry Lodge that we're staying in at Bluestone? Amazing. You like it? Oh, there we go. Just quickly, we also have a little, uh, what is it? 
outdoor area. Which I just discovered we have a light. Oh, do we have a light? Yeah. What's that? Oh my god, a little fire bucket for when our barbecue ruins the whole place. That's not going to do nothing, is it? So yeah, there's a little outdoor we'll area. We'll get a little bench. shot of this outside. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow. when it's light, because we don't know what our view is yet. And obviously, sofas, TV, and uh, the hole for the TV thing underneath. And um, we've got a double bed for us. Um, Plenty of cupboard space. And cupboard space, loads of cupboards and drawers and coat hangers and towels and, and extra pillows. Mm. The and then room. the boys' room. It smells like fire in here. Why does it smell like fire? Is the curtains on fire? All the plug sockets from what I've seen. So, well, some of the plugs are on fire. Have you had bead plugs? They're oh, in pots, so useful. I like that. But it is very clean and tidy, and you know that those kind of places where you could probably wear walk barefooted and not feel like you're going to end up with gross feet. It's one of those, so it's quite nice. Bathroom wise, um, it's not a bathroom. It is more of a wet room. Wet room. So it comes with squeegees and all that stuff, and a bin for Joe's nappies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the morning, uh, which will come up in a couple of seconds. We'll show you around the outside and stuff. And we'll yeah. let you know how we slept. Yes. Because that is really That's important. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes you don't sleep well because of the kids, but we're going to have wine. And if we have wine, we always sleep Helps well. Helps sleep. <laughs> Tip number one. Right, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, we'll see you right now. So I'd just like to add that we went outside to look at the stars because they're really, really prominent. And there's some badgers just snoozing around. Um, just literally outside, so Joe's gonna put a little bit of a video here of the badger. Oh my god, he's so close, go. Where's he going? Now that it's the morning and it's daytime, <laughs> and Hi. we're in our socks. <laughs> Mine are wet as well. We can, we can show you around what it looks like here. It's nice, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Loads of birds, mushrooms, and badgers. And yeah, there was badgers birds. last night. There's birds everywhere. It's amazing. It's such a lovely place. Last night, yeah, on your own. In the dark, because it's yeah, really it's dark. Spooky. Like here, there's only um, the odd light along the road. There's no, there's, obviously, there's little street lights every now and then, but it was really dark. Right, so we are off to Oakwood theme park now. It's literally uh, a seven minute drive home. Yeah, it's so, it's round the corner. Yeah. Literally round the corner. I wouldn't be surprised if you could probably see parts of it from here. I haven't actually looked for it, but it is very close. <laughs> anyway, we're off to Oakwood theme park now. So we're gonna go and have a great day there and then we'll catch back up with you on this vlog and show you around the resort a little bit more. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we are back from Oakwood. Had a good day. Yeah. But we're now back at the, um, Stone Resort, and we're going to go down to the Serrano. We still haven't hired a buggy, so I'm we're walking. Fine. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, um, we don't really know what's on at the Serrano, and we missed the welcome meeting because we'd already booked Oakwood. Yeah. So um, we're just kind of winging it. Yeah. But we're going to go, and um, I want a birthday cocktail because it's my blooming birthday. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll take you along, and you can have a little look at the Serrano, and if anything else, What's our here, also. Though? What is that? Yeah, the old thing. Yeah. Right, we might, when we've had a couple of cocktails, be in there. <laughs> right. Let's stay here, because then you don't have to walk far at all. These are the new um, accommodation they're building at the moment. When we were up... 
when we were up on Megaphobia earlier, really. we could see him. <laughs> um, <coughs> right, be able to see him. see him now. Yeah, be able to see him now. Right, He's yeah, a eco-friendly one. Yeah, they're big, like big, big houses, pretty much, aren't they? From the from the yeah, look on the picture. Look at it, very bushy. If you walk from, uh, well, we were just walking. Um, <laughs> this is the way. It's around the back here. Let's go past the hive. That's some of the scarecrows that we haven't counted yet. Some mouldy pumpkins. <laughs> Actually, are they. They're yeah, they're not even pumpkins. They look quite real. They're mouldy. Some sort of entertainment. <laughs> we don't actually know what's going on in here this, uh, today, but it's about five o'clock, is it? And it closes at six, so we haven't got long in here. We are late. Uh, but that's what happens when you go and have fun before you get here. But uh, yeah, there's some sort of entertainment. There's a big stage there. Um, there's little play areas and stuff as well. There's a chippy. I think there's a, is there some sort of bar in here as well? I think there's a play area. So, yeah, yeah. The, uh, a lot of the um, activities and, and the, li the, the show that was going on in there, I don't know what it was, but it was a live, there was a band. You have to pay, you have, you have to book and pay for, right? I just don't know what this is. So, we're not entirely sure what to do in here, but we're going to have a little look around. If we see anything exciting, you'll see it. A beautiful moment ruined by a baby crying. <laughs> right, so in here, we have some sort of zipline stuff. I don't know if Joe showed. That is a bar that sells cocktails and stuff. That is a Clive Theatre that requires you to book prior. Um, and around the area, obviously, kids play stuff. There's kids play stuff all around, and there's also food venues as well to go and grab some snacks and whatnot. I will warn you, though, for three drinks, over it cost us over 20 quid. We had a, we had a so, strawberry daiquiri and a couple of drinks. Um, to be honest with you, if I was you, I would smuggle it in. <laughs> we realised when we got in here, we could have yeah. a drink in with us. We could have. If you just can't, if you just look around in here, to be honest, it's more of just. It's really nice to, to yeah. Even, like, place like it's this. lovely. It's nice. um, they put a lot of effort into it. Um, and also because it's all covered up, it means that you're not getting wet. Yeah, Admittedly, it's, it's open rain. at the sides, which I guess in the winter would be horrible because yeah. you'd be absolutely yeah. bloody freezing. So if you do come in here in the winter, make sure you bring a hip flask or two of whiskey just to have <laughs> a great time because you're going to need the warmth. <laughs> you need to. Oh my they've got it going, god. Yeah. How do we zoom in? That's it. Pull it, that's it. <laughs> Going for it. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, no, they're slowing down. <laughs> right, we've just come out of the Serendome. We're just walking back round to what we're going to go over to the village now, the Bluestone Village. And there's a cracking shot of Vincent? Speed. That Speed, I no limits, yeah. Vincent spotted it through here. Really good shot. That literally that shows how close it is to here. So, yeah, we're going to. Go back over to the village now. Um, and there's like a tap the tavern thing, so we're gonna go over to there. Apparently they, they have their own beer apparently in the tavern, so we're gonna pop over there and have a quick beer. In the tavern. Because they've got a um, a own blue yeah. speciality yeah. ale, which um I would rather like to sample. <laughs> yeah. So we'll walk over there. Thank you. Mind you, we are actually still in the Bluestone Resorts. This is like well weird. This is like a town. Did you just fall <laughs> there? <laughs> what the hell? No beer for you. I don't get it. What is this place? 
It is natural village. So yeah, if you come here, just let you know, this is freaking weird. I feel like I'm in a like, little village in Wales. I know, I know this is a village in Wales, but like, from going to Woodland to an actual town, it's bloody well bizarre. I don't really know what Everson is around here. There's loads of buildings, but there's no kind of reason for them. Well, that's a coffee shop. That is... Blue Stone believes that children like chickens deserve a life outside the cage. Maybe don't eat them though, I'm sorry. Don't eat them. Ugh, don't... Ugh. Hello. Apparently there's even a village hall, you know. You know, you know. Right, we need to try and find the village pub because everything closes at bloody six o'clock here, apparently. Oh, this is the Oak Tree Restaurant. Right, the Oak Tree Restaurant. Um, here's your menu and your choice if you want to pause yeah, the video and have a look. Um, not few, really much. A few things, isn't it? Yeah, not too much, but hey ho. We don't expect everything. Isn't this lovely? The Emporium. The Emporium. It looks like a sweet shop. Oh my god. If you're really into your Halloween stuff, then apparently. What? Mini skateboards, like. Oh, adorable. I think they're too small. I think they're too small for you, Victor. Oh, for your tiny little feeties. And here we are. We find it. Let's see if we can get a pint. A little cheeky pint for me birthday. What? In. The night. Can't see her. She's too dark. I'm sorry. Maybe let me with her. In the night. No, so we've just come we just had a walk through the Knights Tavern. The Oak Tree restaurant is on the upper floor, so just a heads up. It's upstairs. Who's your mate? Isn't that a door? Don't knock him. <gasps> oh my god, did I just smack him in the forehead? Yeah he did. I was pointing. Was it was. He didn't mean to. That's what you get when you pair cocktail. Yep, we've got, got the, the blue uh, stone pale ale. Pale ale. It's and nice. It's delicious. So we're just going to have. Um, hold up. Just going to have a drink tonight. A couple more, and then we're going to go back and cook a barbecue. We're going to leave under it. Under the stars. Under the stars, sorry. Right. I was going to say we're going to leave it there tonight, though, so we can get on with our night. Well, if you see anything else. Then yeah, well. Maybe add in. Enjoy, because I've barbecue. had a few beers by then. Yeah, so we're gonna, we'll are gonna, we probably leave it there and we'll um, join us again in the morning. I'm watching the kids um, probably might run on. On our sort of, not last day, but technically last day. But yeah, join us tomorrow. We've got like, uh, we're gonna be a bit more, we may, we may be going somewhere else tomorrow. Um, but we'll, we're thinking we may go to Bob's Farm. Yeah, but, um, that'll be another vlog that you'll be able to watch. And then it's the Queen's funeral on Monday, so we probably yeah. won't be doing much. But we'll put in a, we'll put, we'll put, we'll put in a few shots of like, if we, we go, yeah, if we go and there's the anything to do with the Queen tomorrow, 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 then we will also put that and give a little yeah. drink to Her Majesty herself. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Hello and back. Hello. Welcome again to another day at Bluestone. We've Resort. just spent the day at Folly Farm, which was lovely, and we'll yeah. put that vlog probably next week. Check that, yeah, check that out in the, one of the um, next vlogs. We're just going back into the Cerrodome because there is a show that we have booked called the Pumpkin Lab Show. If we can film inside, we'll show you the little bits of the highlights. We'll do it for a couple of right? highlights. Yeah. Right, I'm still not sure if we're allowed to film in here or not, so um, I'm sure they'll let us know at the start when they first start, but here's just a little look at what the actual show looks like. Very interesting. Pumpkin lab. So yeah, um, if we do... Yeah, I will. I'll ask someone if they're allowed to film it. Yeah. Because I've got a surprise for you, look! Tradition here in the pumpkin.
in lab, not all scientists, grown-ups included, learn the pumpkin lab dance. Would you like to learn it? No. Well, it's not <laughs> Staring into the empty fields of <laughs> Igor! Look! What on earth has grown in the fields? Are they flowers? They've got two lips! Oh no! Watch. So we just come out of the um, pumpkin lab show. And you should have just seen some highlights. Yeah, um, yeah we there, there was some highlights. Um, but yeah, it was actually Do you know what? really good. Most I actually time, thoroughly enjoyed that. Like Scotland's and whatnot. And the shows are kind of like, uh, and that you can only get through them if you've got about six beers. Um, <laughs> yeah. But to be honest with you, you can actually it was a, a beer. It live it was lovely. It, 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 I think the fact that it was um, actually performed, it was yeah, live music, live there was music, a band. It wasn't just yeah. the backing track, yeah. uh, that was quite nice. Just made it extra, like, you know, just that a little bit extra well. special, yeah. like, there's a bit more to it, and it wasn't just singing. Well, yeah, nice. and they were, they were they really, really good, good as well, so. Acrobatic type people. Yeah, it was ace, so yeah. Now we are going to go back to our room, um, to our apartment, and then, well, the lodge, and then we're going to go for food at the oak tree so we'll um we'll take you along to that we'll quickly show you roughly sort of like what we're what we're eating and stuff and if what what, what, what we can eat we think that there is a, ch a choice of a risotto but yeah pineapple we will risotto, see. Is. <laughs> but we'll show you what it is we'll yeah. tell you how it how it is and what it's like in there and, and stuff. what other things they have yeah. available because um I'm starving. <laughs> in true Warrell family fashion we can't actually do what we said we were going to do can we we pointed this out a little bit earlier in this vlog that there's this like, sort of old stone building um, and we uh, on our way back we just looked right I'm um, hold it 
Are you going? I'm going. Hi, Tom, Daddy. Right, Tom, be very Daddy, careful. Go. Look at the, um, Joe, look at the um, branches going through the window. Jesus, where is the door? Uh. Huh? <laughs> what? I'll take it in. Are you coming in or not? Tell me if it's... Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we've mentioned also on the channel before that me and Cass used to do um, urban exploring quite a lot. So we used to go in all abandoned buildings, um, any sort. We've been in schools, we've been in houses, we've been in, uh, yeah, a lot of things. So this is not too unusual for us. No. You, but the boys have been in one or two things. Um, but, uh, you know, only safe places. Um, hold the camera, Vincent. Hold the camera. Should I go up? No, no, hold on. Come on with me. Is it safe? I'm just going to turn the bait. Because I'm looking at the back. Where are you? Tell me if it's safe. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just climbing up a really sketchy set of stairs. Is it safe? Um, I mean, probably not, to be honest. No, dude. Because it's a lot of the steps aren't very strong. There's footprints in the dust. I don't know why I'm doing this. What? Yeah, I mean it doesn't look safe at all, but I can't not look. Oh, look around there. I'm not going all the way up because I've got to try and turn around on the stairs now. And um, the stairs go all the way up to the top, but I didn't go up. Yeah, I went, I, but I mean the stairs are only up this pit anyway, Cass, but it looks a little bit, I'm not, I don't feel hugely safe walking on that, so I'm going to go all the way up. There. Uh, there's nothing over there, honey. I wonder what this is. Um, I would be very careful, there's a lot of metals. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, there's a hole there. But the stairs were going up the side here, so that's why I didn't feel... We're going to explore bangers. <laughs> So, um, we're going to go now. You'll see us in the oak tree. Awful. Right, if you'd like to stay where we stay, it's a three bed little kind of cottagey thing of the Calway cottage. But look, it's so lovely around here. Just nice and quiet. Pine goes, so, and white then. Let me do it step on them. Don't step on what? Oh god. Don't step on those Why? Because they do things. Are they for the squirrels? <laughs> How adorable. I think I want to show you. Let's go. Go on I was over here looking and I noticed this. It's just sat there and look at that's on the back. Somebody left a little painted rock here. Go on, I would love to see a one-handed cartwheel. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Oof. Uh, so, welcome to the Oak Tree restaurant at Stone Resort. We have got a butternut squash and pineapp risotto. Me and Cass have both got the same. And then we've got some Italian seasonal greens. Ooh. Some uh, salt and rosemary chips, was it? Yeah, they're, they're lovely. I think, yeah. Um, and then the boys have got a couple of beers. Pasta. Yeah, the boys have got like a penny pasta, um, which is good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, service wise, it has been really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, so they're so attentive that while we were actually filming the first part of this, they actually came over and were yeah. like, came to see if everything was yeah. okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Sorry, guys, just a heads up. We're going to do a minute silence at 8 o'clock. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting us know, dude. Um, yeah, uh, uh, as, you, as you just said, yeah, they're doing a minute silence for um, the Queen in a couple of minutes, I presume. Uh, in 10 minutes, it is. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. Um, they do uh, a few different beers here. They've got the Welsh GDC Welsh Smooth. And we, uh, we weren't sure if it was vegan or not, so we asked the guy we who was serving Googled us. It and we could not find it. Yeah, we asked the guy and he said um, he would go and check for us. We went down into the yeah, cellar and he actually barrel, checked. So which yeah, really nice. it's really good to be fair. But yeah, we're going to enjoy our food. We're going to, yeah, we're going to enjoy our food. And, um, 
They do the minute silence in a few minutes. Hello. So, this is the end of the vlog. Um, thank you so much for watching. We have had a lovely time here. Our meal was lovely. Yeah. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next vlog. See you later. See you. Bye.